Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, it's time for another daily dose of dismal Disney. We're gonna talk about Star Wars this time. We talked about Marvel in a different video today, but uh, it seems like Disney is starting to freak out, I think, because of the uh, possibility of, of Nelson Peltz and Jay Rizzullo getting board seats. And one of the things that they wanted to do was have more oversight over films and which films got greenlit and which investments they've made were profitable. So we're seeing Disney chopping a bunch of Marvel movies. And now they're announcing uh, some more Star Wars movies, including Patty Jenkins' Rogue Squadron movie. Uh, but it's also being floated around that Disney has apparently, they're self-reporting, self-reporting that they made $12 billion off of Star Wars since they bought it in 2012. I I don't know if I believe that. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, but it it has to do with a filing with the SEC um, that they put out there. And we know that Disney you know, tends to massage the numbers a little bit. But um, yeah, they're saying that they got a uh, three times the return on investment that they paid for Star Wars. And that includes all the movies and the uh, merchandise and stuff like that. Now, what's not completely clear um, from this is just how they're accounting for the production costs and the marketing and stuff like that. But trust us, bro, we made $12 billion on, on Star Wars uh, mm -hmm. since we bought it. So we're, we're good stewards of, of uh, Star Wars, uh, even though a lot of the movies did not do well at the box office, just the first couple. So we're gonna we're gonna talk about Star Wars now. We're gonna talk about this uh, you know pivot again. It doesn't seem like they know what they're doing. I think what's going on is they're they're freaking out. I think I think Kathleen Kennedy might actually be in danger of potentially losing her job this and time. For this real? time for real Maybe. for for reals. And Kevin she Feige. Ruined, she too. already ruined like Willow and and Indiana Jones. She's still there. Yeah, I don't understand. So I think what they're doing is they are. Uh, trying to do as much damage control to shore this up uh, because I guarantee you there are going to be questions asked and they're going to be like, what are you working on with Star Wars? What, you know, did you make well, money on Star Wars? How many things do they keep announcing and then they cancel, you know? Yeah. And then the thing with, um, you know, the thing that they were trying to stick to was the whole, we're going to do a Ray movie because we're going to do more Ray, which doesn't make any sense after the last ones didn't do well. Yeah. And then, then it went from that to, oh, Mandalorian movie's coming first. Yeah, so the Mandalorian movie for sure is going to happen, which is basically, I think, going to be season four done as a movie, and that's probably going to be well, the end of saying, Pedro Pascal. But I mean, who knows? Um, we've got... Because now he's doing the... Fa yeah, he's doing the Fantastic Four. He's doing so Fantastic Four. I don't four. know. Does he get time to do both? Probably not. Plus, he's doing The Last of Us. Well, that's okay. He won't be in it after season two anyway. That's right. But um, anyway, so they, they announced Rogue Squadron again. But then we're also hearing that the Lando movie yes. is going to happen again. Well, no, no. He's saying he would come back if they gave him a no, lot of money. No, Do Donald Glover, apparently what's going on. Oh, okay. The Donald Glover. Yeah. They were going to do it as a movie. Then yes. they were going to do it as a series. Yes. And then now it's back to a movie, but Donald Glover and his brother are working well, on it. They actually. I thought they were going to write it. Yeah, they're going to write it, but they, they fired the other people, uh, the people that were involved that were the Han Mansion people. Uh, Justin Simeon. Right. But I'm saying, but uh, what's this have to do with uh, Billy Dee Williams? Well, he said he would come back if they pay him a whole lot of money. But it wouldn't be about him. It would be about. No. Yeah. The it, version of. Yeah. It would. Yeah. I could see them using him as like a framing account like they did with the Hobbit movies or something. But like, uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't think they'll bother. I think they'll just go with the, the young version. But what I'm saying is like, you hear nothing about anything going on at Star Wars until Disney has the pressure put on them. Mm -hmm. by trying group and yeah. trying group says we're going to watch you and and we're going to hold your feet to the fire and be like what are you doing with these franchises is it all going to disappear though if, if they don't win the i think so war? is it all just going to disappear like poof gone oh we don't know what you're talking about yeah they just want to they want to look like they have a plan they want to look like star wars is profitable and i'm still questioning this i mm -hmm. i i think they made money i'm not gonna say they didn't i think they made more than they paid for it um i think when you take into consideration the costs of things Minus what they 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 netted, I don't think it's as much as they're saying. There's a lot um, of okay, so there's a lot of creative accounting going on, and Disney is notorious for, years. for this. But and SEC when they get stuff gets reported, they seem to like not do anything about it. But okay, yeah. when it comes to Disney, the whistleblower goes to the SEC and they do nothing about it. it; just goes down the memory hole, right? Yeah, there there was a story that went around a few years ago that David Prowse never got royalties for Return of the Jedi because they tried to tell him. 
it, it wasn't profitable. Yeah, like his like, his person didn't set up the same way other people's contracts got set up or something. Yeah, I don't know if it's because he wasn't like a face actor or what the, what the deal was, but that was the official story. It was like, oh, yeah, Return of the Jedi lost money. I'm like, Return of the Jedi did not lose money. There's no way. Now, this could actually bite Disney in the ass, though, because be like, oh, yeah, we got to pony up some more royalties then, I guess, because, you know, we didn't lose money on this stuff. Uh, you know, we got to po- pony up some royalties to the Star Wars authors that we tried to screw over a couple of years ago. But um, let's talk about the Patty Jenkins thing. This is coming from piratesandprincesses.net. Mm-hmm. Mr. Milo wrote this. Uh, Patty Jenkins says that she returned to working on Rogue Squadron. Yeah, so Rogue Squadron was canceled. Like, we heard about it, and it was going to be happening. It was like way back, yeah, December 2020, okay? And she had done Wonder Woman, and then she was going to do Rogue Squadron, which she was kind of basing because her dad was a U.S. Air Force pilot. Right yeah. There. So, which sounded pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. And they made a big deal announcing it. And then you didn't hear anything about it. And then it was like, there was like, oh, there's supposed to be creative differences and stuff. And then because of the Wonder Woman film, Wonder Woman 3, she wasn't going to be able to do it. And then there was, I don't know, the vibe that was given at the time was Jenkins seemed irritated. And I think that Kathleen Kennedy was at work again, yeah. in my opinion. Anyway, then that got canceled and removed from the slate. Because it was supposed to be out by now, wasn't it? Yeah. It was removed. Um from the slate in 2022. Now, then they said, oh, the Wonder Woman 3 film got canceled at the end of 2022. So because it got canceled, she's coming back. But the, the strike, they just they just got her coming back around the strike time, which was months ago. The strike started. You never, But you never heard anything. You never heard that Patty Jenkins was coming back to do another movie. It was supposed to be around the time that the strikes began. But that was like last summer. And nothing was ever mentioned. And now all of a sudden, Patty Jenkins is back for, you know, for Rogue Squadron. It was planned months ago. We just never said anything about it until just now when, uh, you know, there's different activist groups trying to come in and and now they have to perform. Yeah. And this is this is kind of like that throwing spaghetti against the wall. It's like, humna, humna, humna. Oh, what did we announce before? Oh, people seem to like that that Rogue Squadron idea. Yeah, basically. That's, 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 how, just that's how it comes across. X-Wings versus, versus TIE Fighters. Yeah, it's money in the bank. Yeah, we'll do that. Meanwhile, we're not hearing much about that Ray movie. Uh, we're hearing about no, we Lando hearing again. About it, yeah. But Donald Glover is popular again because of the Mr. and Mrs. Smith, which I thought was boring as hell, but some people like it. They're watching it, you know? Uh, yeah. So here's what, here's what she told Collider. Um, so when I left Star Wars to do Wonder Woman 3, I thought maybe I'd come back to Star Wars at Wonder Woman 3. The way it was presented at the time it happened, it did not seem like the Wonder Woman was an excuse is how it came across, okay? So we did a deal for that to happen, started a deal, but I thought I was doing Wonder Woman. So she's speaking around it. And then yeah. and, and it got removed from the slate and everything got canceled. And then it was like into limbo and then it was gone. When that deal went away, Lucasfilm and I were like, oh, okay. So she admits that deal went away. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we got to finish this deal. But you talked like it was a done deal. Kathleen Kennedy got up and said it was pretty much a done deal at yeah. Patty Jenkins. And there was a whole video. They had a yeah, – she was on the tarmac or whatever. Yeah. And the, yeah, the but whole thing. But now there's – the deal went away. But now we got to finish this deal. Which deal? It sounds like there's there's a new deal. But it didn't go away. But it did. This is like talking in circles. We finished the deal right as the strike was happening. Okay. So it was during the strike. But that was still like summer into like, you know, fall. So I, I now owe a draft of Star Wars, and we'll see what happens there. You know, like, who knows? So she's even like, who knows? Yeah. I mean, honestly, with Star Wars stuff, like, until you actually see it, I don't know if you can believe it. It's hard. They have a hard job in front of them of what's the first movie they're going to do. They have other directors who have been working, but I am now, you know, I'm back on doing Rogue Squadron, and we'll see what happens. We need to develop, you know, to, to get it where we're both super happy with it. Okay, that could that could take years. I'm mm-hmm. just I'm just saying. You know, I like the first Wonder Woman movie. The second one was dog shit. That's why there's yeah, a Wonder very, Woman very 3. Rapey. It was very rapey. Yeah, it was cringy, too. It was just a really, it was, it was not good. It like reminded me of, I mean, they got the, they got the tone right because it reminded me of like a schlocky 80s <laughs> superhero did. made it for did. TV movie, you know? Yeah, um, I, I just, I'm not, I mean, some people like Kristen Wiig. I'm just not a huge fan no. of her, but you know. Yeah, so um, it's just, it, it's weird. I mean, this, look, all this stuff happened within the last couple of days. The, the 12, the magical... Twelve billion dollar number, mm-hmm. because everybody's like, "Oh, Star Wars is losing money." I mean, 
come on, they had they didn't count the theme parks in. They had to shut down the hotel because yeah. it lost them and a they ton spent of money. A whole bunch of money on that. So you take a yeah, you take a billion dollars uh, out of you know for what they spent on Galaxy's Edge, and I don't know what they spent well, on the they, hotel. I think it was like three hundred billion or something. And there's no way to really account for how much it made back, other than like direct food sales and stuff, unless they you know take a percentage of the sales to, of every ticket and claim that that was money returned. But they didn't. They said so. There's that. Yeah, so all of this, it just it just strikes me as reactionary. And we've said this before. And the problem with Disney now is they are a reactionary company, not a visionary company. The only reason they're doing this now is there's a real danger that they could lose some board seats to people that are actually going to make them be accountable. I just don't get why they're panicking so hard and why they're flipping out so much. It was just a matter of losing a couple seats. It, it, it seems like so much more than that. Like... I don't know. It's, it's another one of I, I don't lose type situations. Like he overspent on Fox because he didn't want to lose. We don't lose, but we we lost Reedy Creek. And, and we lost a lot of money. <laughs> we and, lost you know. a lot of money. And yeah, no, I, I think I think it's more, you know, you get some board members in there and they might be able to push for more change at the company. And they and might be able to push for more. people with making sense. Yeah. Push for more oversight. I mean, if you've got. There definitely needs to be more oversight. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they just green light anything. And a lot of it just doesn't work, whether it's Marvel or Star Wars or Pixar or whatever. It's like you can't spend $200, $300 million on a movie that's not going to make money. What's really funny, though, about this graphic, of all these graphics, right? They're claiming the theme parks have nothing to do with these graphics. But they keep including the theme parks in the graphics. Uh, Star Tours yeah. at Disneyland. Well, Disney World. This is a history. Well, since Disney bought it. Uh, the adventure continues. Uh, Disneyland Paris. Galaxy's Edge. They're putting them on the graphic. Same with Marvel's, you know, Avengers Campus. Um, and then the Frozen, the Toy Story stuff, they're putting it on the graphics as being in the parks and the, and the mouse ears pictures you're seeing, especially with Toy Story. There's a bunch of those. But they're claiming in the write-up that the, the theme parks don't count into the totals. So why have a graphic with all these theme park entries unless you're deliberately trying to mislead people? You know, um, they're not actually counting that in the data, but they're counting it in the data. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because it wouldn't be as impressive if, if you have yeah. to take another billion or two billion off of there. Because, because it reads of the, like they're yeah. counting it into the numbers. Because yeah. they, they go down this flow chart and at the end, they put a number. So they're doing it all. And then even before they owned it, right? Like Star Wars and stuff. They're going the whole way down to the end, including theme parks. But they're claiming that that, that doesn't count in the totals. Yeah. I mean, Frozen, Toy Story, they owned the whole time. So, that, I mean, that's theirs. But once again, it's a, t a bunch of amount ears that they even claim in their disclaimer doesn't count to that amount. No. So why incorporate them into the graphic other than try and make it look like you did more than you did? I don't well, understand. Well, that's what this it's whole... It's very confusing. That Yeah, exactly. That's what this whole thing is about. This whole thing is about confusing shareholders. This whole thing is about making it look like Star Wars is doing gangbusters and that they have a plan and all these movies are coming and they're going to go back to, cause I'm sure they're, I'm sure they're getting it. They're probably like, well, what about all those star Wars movies that you announced that you didn't make? What about, you know, star Wars making money? Cause we're seeing all the merchandise rotting on the shelves at Ollie's and nobody seems excited about star Wars anymore. And the viewership's going down. Is star Wars actually bringing it or not. And oh, yeah, we've, we've done $12 billion since we bought it. Well, all these different symbols, these arrows are just the Disney Plus shows, and a lot of them didn't do great. No. You know, um, but they're not, they're not. Oh, and three films are coming. Yeah, the only one that did well, uh, honestly, was The Mandalorian, and then the Book of Boba Fett, they shot but, themselves in the foot. But again, with Avengers, where are all the Disney Plus shows being listed? They're not listing those. No, they're not. So this is very confusing, and they're not. They have the Disney. They, they have the NFL something. Oh, you know, whatever, or this NFL thing, whatever. Here. Oh, the old cast. Yeah, they did. They for, the, for the for the for the for the Toy Story. Yeah. And they have the the Olaf presents and stuff listed for Frozen from Disney Plus. But when it comes to Avengers, they don't have any of that listed. You can't say you can't fit it in because they crammed all this shit in for Star Wars. This is very weird. Yeah. I, now I do believe that Pixar. Overall, they've they've definitely got a return on their investment because since they bought Pixar, they've had a lot of movies do really well. Right. Plus the merchandise, the toy sales and stuff. Marvel, I totally agree with because they've had it for years and years. For yeah, up until story. up until post Endgame, they've been doing really well with Marvel. Marvel stuff still. So I mean, honestly, Marvel stuff, Spider Man stuff, Captain America stuff still sells pretty well. Kids are still buying that stuff. 
Star Wars, I, I really question. But you I know, just think it's weird. Like, I mean, this 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 whole thing is just weird. And of course, we've got a game reactor out there kind of tapping in the end zone. Like, well, it looks like those Star Wars fans that were hoping they were going to sell Star Wars. They're just going to have to choke on it because they made money. I didn't think they were going to sell Star Wars. I don't know. That was a, that you was a rumor. mentioned it a few times, but I've said the same time the, every time. I don't think they're going to sell it because I need it. The rumor that was going around, and I thought it was kind of dubious, but... but Okay, so the rumor that, that actually was going around wasn't necessarily they were for sure going to sell Star Wars, but they were going to put an offer together for, I, I guess, some Saudis to potentially buy Oh, yeah, I do remember it. that. And that I actually – I mean, look, they bought the WWE. You know, they've these these Saudis, they buy up a lot of entertainment companies. And I could, I could see them if Disney was like, yeah, we don't know what we're doing with Star Wars. We'll just sell. And they have sold stuff before. And I've before. said the whole time, I do not believe no, they would. No, I because, think because it was in the theme parks and it was and so they, entrenched. They plus and they need it for films and they need it moving forward. There was no way in hell they'd sell it separately from the company. No. So. I'll, stay, I'll stand by that. And I could be wrong. Well, but plus, I'm going to stand by that. Plus, uh, you know, it's going to look bad anyway. It's like, wait, you guys dropped $4 billion on, on Star Wars. It's supposed to be one of your pillars, content pillars. And uh, you turn around in a decade and, and sell it off because you don't know what you're doing with it. Like Power Rangers, that kind of made sense because Power Rangers was never as big as Star Wars. You know, I mean, it's I mean, Power Rangers was big in the 90s, but it wasn't like this wasn't like a cornerstone IP for Disney. They had Power Rangers land at Disney World, you know, but so it's a totally different thing. But yeah, unfortunately, I think we're stuck with Disney owning Star Wars and, uh, you know, you're. There are two ways to go about it if, if you are not a fan of Disney Star Wars. One is you just ignore it and pretend it doesn't exist like I do. <laughs> you know, it's not canon. It's not part of my head canon. And uh, the other is the hopefully Kathleen Kennedy someday gets gone and they get somebody better in there and they make better stuff. Uh, but uh, I don't know, guys. I don't think George Lucas is coming back. He's damn near 80 years old at this point. Yeah. I don't think they're going to sell it anytime soon. They and should have brought him back as a consultant a long time ago, and they didn't. They should have. But, I mean, what, what are you supposed to do? I wouldn't go back. I'd be like, I gave you. We had an agreement. When I sold you Star Wars, you were going to make the three movies I outlined, and you threw them in the garbage and did your own thing, and now now here you are. Now look at it. Now now Ray is going to the, the garbage with you know, my, my script. She's going to the landfill with Rose Tico. <laughs> you know, it's like, geez. Anyway, are we going to wrap this up? Yeah. Okay, so please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later. Bye.